What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be going back and checking out Kingdoms and Castles, a game that recently came out of its early access and has reached its full release. And so that's normally the time that we come in to check on games that we played in yonder year. I'm going to call it yonder year because it sounds way more awesome than like something I played a month ago. It doesn't it though? It's got a better ring to it. Like, from yonder year. You say it with like a little bit of a pirate or like viking voice behind it and I think it makes it all better. But welcome on back in, we're checking out Kingdoms and Castles. Today we're going to select a new game, we're going to jump on in. We're just going to play as Samarin because I'm not planning on playing this super long term. I just want to check the game out and see what's going on. Uh, I don't know if I like this land. I don't know if I like this land. I don't know if this is the land that I want to die inside of. So let's go ahead and we'll change it around for a minute. Until we find one that we feel is a successful land. A land that will bring us super awesome pumpkins, because that's what I take into account. If your land can't provide me with pumpkins, meh. A pox upon your land, I say. Heavy disease may it fall upon your land, for it lacks pumpkin. That one seems okay right there. And I thought I was gonna have to make an edit. No, this one seems all right. We'll go with this one right here. We get to choose our banner. We can go with like a D20. We can go with like a cool little raven thing. I'm gonna go with the raven thing, even though it, I like green better than I like that Ashton. No, that's not a great way to name a kingdom. That's a horrible name for a kingdom. Our kingdom will be called Craggy Blapper. The kingdom of Craggy Blapper will rise. Let none put us down, for we will ride upon you. That cloud looks like a beard. Let's keep going. All right, so we are in the game right now. At the moment, it probably wants us to do some stuff. I have paused. Oh, look, the clouds go away when you mouse over them now. Did they do that before? I can't recall if they did that before. Either way, cool little feature. All right, so taking a look around at this place and seeing what we have available, I'll probably build up and over here somewhere. Although we are going to lack trees if we do that, but I think it'll be okay. I'm going to put my keep in like right. Let's see here. I think we got to select that. And then there's our first little castle right there. That looks okay to me. And so down goes Der Castle. We've dropped it in place, and our little guys should go to work starting to build on it. And so our unpopulated land has now become a quiet hamlet. Hopefully super quiet, because I'm a light sleeper. If there's, like, any amount of ambient noise whatsoever, I will wake up, and I will be in a bad mood. Probably going to be in a bad mood anyways, but it's possible. We started out with 12 wood. So these guys need... No, that is not what I wanted. These guys need a hoos... Is too far away from our roads. Oh yeah, I forgot about that mechanic where you have to build roads all over the place in order to make things work. Alright, so we'll go two roads right there just to get us started. And once that's begun, we will put in a hoovel, like right here. Sounds alright to me. We don't really need a ton of houses right now. We just need like one or two so that all these guys can live in the same place and they can smell each other's stink and generally learn about the benefits of a society. Be like, look, we're roommates. Hooray! No, I didn't eat the rest of your Cheetos. Wasn't there another bottle thingy of Pringles? Is it a bottle that a Pringle comes in? Or is it like a sleeve? I don't know what to call that thing. It's like a cardboard bottle thing, but it's got like an air sealing cap on the top that goes when you open it the first time. I don't know what to call that thing. Alright, so there it is. We've got ourselves some happiness. Uh, now that happiness has been generated within the confines of our lands, uh, I don't really want to talk to the advisors. I don't care about them right now. Advisors, go away. You're just going to tell me stuff like, save your money. You're just going to tell me things like, invest wisely. Don't buy those rims for your car. What do you need 1,200 gold glasses for? And I'm like, because I'm the king. If I don't look the best and the most stylish out of everyone in the land, how will they respect me? I have to be cool first, a king second. That's just the way that it works. People follow coolness, all right? And if you don't believe me, Look at any high school. Uh, we produce, so I probably need food. Yeah, food would probably be the soil is not fertile. Oh, yeah. The greenness of the soil is how good the... F how so basically, the darker green it is, the better growing area it's going to be. Uh, the more food, the more yield you're going to get. And so keep that in mind as well. I will more than likely just drop a field right there. It doesn't matter. No one is available to work on our new construction. Closing non-essential buildings to free up workers. 
Oh, uh, yeah, we only have five workers, don't we? Well, somebody will get to it eventually. It's not that big of a deal for right now. And if you make people happy enough, more people will move into your village, so that's always a good thing. I just wanted them to chop down some trees so that we would have, like, a couple little things to keep our castle growing on up, getting so much bigger. I love the way they stack the little woods over here. That's, like, one of the features that I like about games like this, where there's a visual representation for the player of, like, what you've accomplished. So if you chop down, like, 50 trees, there's, like, little wood piles next to all your stockpiles and your castles and everything like that. Little things that pay attention to detail. Like, that just make me happy for whatever reason. Some people don't care, but I do. I think that it's awesome. Uh, we're not going to be able to grow any food in the winter, so that's something that you're just going to have to kind of concern yourself with. Luckily, winters are a little bit shorter because we're playing the game on Samarn. And so, you know, what do I need? Ulcers? Uh, four people wanted to move here, but they needed homes. Well, we've got all kinds of houses, so, I mean, it's not entirely impossible that I could make that happen. What I really want to do with this road is that you want to keep your road off fertile ground. So if you've got that right there, let me demolish that. Basically, you want to keep it so that your roads and like your production buildings are not on fertile land. So that you can save all of your fertile land for crops later on. Because you remember what I said earlier? If we can't grow pumpkins here, then WTF is the point. Exactly. I'm going to put a house in right there. And we're going to put in another house right there. Where's the front of the house? There we go. That's what I wanted right there. And then we'll drop that off of our clicker. And then we will let them just run and do their thing for a minute. All better and all done. We've got our houses up and running. And that's looking pretty good. we got to get some people to move in. That's the biggest thing right now is that we just flat out don't have the manpower to do the things that we want to do. Like open a bowling alley, for example. Uh, create a location where you can buy fashionable kids. That would be another example. I'll probably put in a couple of farms. Just in case, because more people are going to be moving in, and we want to be ahead of that food demand before it happens. Oh, good. Life is good here. We have attracted two new residents. Well, it's always good being attractive. We have a very attractive castle, and so I'm sure they're falling deeply in love right now. And in fact, I've had to wash the smooch marks off of the walls. It's never a good thing when they leave smooch marks on the walls. Like, I've told them, kiss the castle if you want. I'm not against castle kissing. That's not a thing that I personally have ever been against. But what I will say is that if you're going to kiss the castle, maybe don't put on ruby red lipstick first. Because it is taking us an inordinate amount of washcloths to get it all up off the castle walls, the smooch marks. It's also given the castle a bit of a reputation. People think you come here for something entirely different than noble governance. And that's not good either. There we go. So we got a couple people working on the farms. That should keep us propped up for a little while. Uh, it bothers me that my farm over here is not facing the right direction, so I need to fix that. I apologize to you, viewer, but I just I can't leave it like that. They have to be lined in the same direction. Otherwise, it just makes my teeth hurt. My teeth just start to hurt. At first, I thought it was just because I don't brush. But then, as time went along, I was like, oh, it's actually because my filthy plebeian peasants don't build their fields with the little cross hatchings all in the same direction and it's my OCD that makes my teeth hurt god damn that's a big bird that is a huge bird that's like a bird that could carry off a child I showed my mom that old internet video where it's like an eagle coming down to grab a little kid and it's doctored it's a fake video somebody made it for like one of their like video projects for college or something like that and she totally thought it was real and I just never told her that it wasn't real like, to this day, she thinks it's real. It's pretty rad. If you can't play tricks on your mom like that, like, what's the point in having a mom? Like, that's like 90% of the fun of having a mom is just, like, playing tricks and pranks on them. All right, so we've got three little guys right here. This dude over here is doing God knows what, just standing next to a building. Just standing here. Just, you know, doing standing here stuff. Don't like to get out there and do much, so I'm just going to stand here. Uh, let's go and... Hmm... We're going to need rocks pretty soon, and I'm trying to decide, so that's an iron mine, that's a stone quarry. We'll probably take this stone quarry then just to slow down, or I'm sorry, to speed up, I think is the proper term. Uh, just to speed up the fact that, why won't you rotate, little road? Dost thou not love thy king? Prithee, pray tell, little road. I demand that you rotate to make my life better. Uh, we haven't been attacked by anything yet. That's pretty cool. I enjoy not being attacked. Uh, the other things that we need right now, it's a good thing. A uh, quarry would be good. We've got a lot of unemployed people. And so being able to get some stone rocking down here so we can build some of the cooler buildings. It's going to make things work a bit better in the future so that we can get higher up the tech tree. We also have access to iron. 
unusable stone is the black stone. Okay. So I guess that must be like, I don't know, weird chippy stone that just doesn't work the way that we want it to. We can't turn it into large bricks the way that we would like. And so how many people are working here? Four workers are working there. Everybody else appears to be reasonably happy. I suppose we'll probably set them up to chop some more trees as well. I think a forester is something that might be intelligent to put on here. So we've got industry. So for a forester, we're going to need five stone blocks. And we're going to need a pretty good grip more wood. So I'm going to send them out to chop in some of the more remote locations. I don't think it's worth it to have us chop right next to our base. Because right next to our base is where I want to have the guys that can actually plant the trees. I don't want my forester having to wander all the way out to here to chop trees and all that kind of stuff. Instead, we are going to utilize this forest right here. Uh, it appears to me as though we also need more food. And so it looks like we're kind of rounding the bottom right now when it comes to our food supplies. Luckily, the winters are short and they're not lasting like a crazy long amount of time. But that being said, having a better food supply is never... I mean, a well-managed granary is... That is, I mean, one of the main key tenets of running a super awesome prehistoric, well, not prehistoric, I guess, a Iron Age society. You need a well-managed granary. You can't let the rats get in. The rats start getting in, they start eating stuff, and then it's all over for you. Now, we have accumulated enough for our Forester's Lodge. However, we have two people idle. That's good enough. Fine by me. Uh, industry. We're going to put a Forester down right here. And hopefully he'll be able to replant these trees as he chops them. This is going to give us a renewable uh, final source for wood so that it will just generate on its own and we don't have to worry about it. The next thing that we need to make do with is we needed to start getting a bit more. Let's grab some roads here. Uh, what we needed to do is we needed a bit more housing, I think, actually, is the next part. I'll probably plant an orchard right there. Um, either that or right over here. I don't really know the best spot for the orchard. This is unequitable land. And so, really, we kind of want to expand out to the right right here and out to the left to use up all this unequitable land before we decide what we want to do elsewhere. Because we want to save our nice little greeny spots for building other good things. So, we've got 10 stone blocks. Fantastic. That's exactly what I like to hear. That is almost done, so even better. Uh, two workers. We had two idle guys. So the last two idle guys are going to run over there. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is that there's nobody left to build buildings. So, we will have to, like, set people off over here and be like, yo do something else for a little bit like we'll have to go into here and then inside the quarry we would say close these four guys would stop working on stone they would go back out and build our houses which is what we want to do so we'll close that off because we don't need it right now and then as far as our town is concerned i am going to put a house there a house there and we're going to leave that for a road right there actually no we'll put a house there and then this one we will demolish, and we'll put a road right there that'll cut off a nice little backward C junction. As I like to call it, the Cyrillic Junction, the Russia Junction. All right, so that's going to get done in just a minute. Uh, we will go, let's see here. We will build a road back this way. Perfect. And this will take us out to like a little farming area, I would assume. Sounds great to me. You know, it might be a little too peaceful right now. We'll wait for our first attack, but I'm thinking maybe putting it on some iron was a bad idea. If it ends up being kind of lame and we want to do continued episodes because you guys have control over that down below in the comments and everything else, uh, maybe I'll raise the difficulty or something. I don't know. It seems kind of peaceful right now. It seems kind of peaceful. I don't think you can actively do it once you're in the game, but anti-aliasing's not on? Well, we need to fix that. There we go. Alias your heart out. Alias all day long. Alias like Jennifer Garner. Never watched that show. Was it any good, or was it like a garbage show? Four people have visited. Uh, we have six idle, 25 beds. If we have six idle, that means I can reopen the stone quarry. So the stone quarry is back open. And we probably need more food, so I would go down here, and with an orchard, can be flooded by heavy rains. Soil is not fertile enough here. Oh, you can actually... Okay, I thought maybe I could make up for it. Well, then we'll put it right either here or right here. Doesn't really matter to me. Doesn't really matter. Anyone can see. Nothing really matters. They're trees. Because it's an orchard. Get what I mean? You get what I mean? You follow me right there? All right. Just making sure. Sometimes I get off on a tangent and I worry that people... People are not following that tangent, and if they're following it, they think my tangent is stupid. Actually, I don't really care if they think my tangent's stupid. That's what I do here on the internet. That's all that I've ever done is make stupid tangents, so, you know, 
If that's what bothers people, it might be time to pull that chute and bail on out. All right, so another winter has arrived. It's been six years. Has it really? Man, this is too much like real life. Time be flying on by. Start feeling like an old man and ish. Cool. Uh, over here would probably be a reasonable... Did we seriously already fill up all of our beds? There's no way we filled up all of our beds. Seven out of seven. Oops, let's see. Five out of five. Dude, we have... No, we've got... There's people there. There's still houses. Maybe it didn't have food inside of it or something like that. Seems plausible. Uh, we are out of food right now, so happiness is going to take a dive if we don't get on top of that soon. Luckily, the new orchard should produce an absolute ridiculous amount of food, in case you were worried about that. So that should be okay. Uh, what I'll probably do is I'll build a road off to the side right here to make more use of, like, this stuff. I will have it go down like so, so that we can keep all this area for farming. Basically, no, someone has left the kingdom in despair because our harvest took too damn long. Oh, well. Sometimes the harvest takes too damn long. I am going to go to my town menu. We will get roads. And we will start building these off this way. The road will take a turn right there. And it will go out to Zivota. And it will be awesome. Uh, this orchard is taking goddamn forever to grow. So maybe I should have just done a field. It seems possible to me that just building a field might have been a smarter idea. But it looks like they're only getting like one harvest a year out of these. I think they may have changed, so you didn't used to need this much food for this small amount of people. And so I think it might have changed since the last patch when I played. I kind of felt like three, four farms was probably about right, but we'll build another one. Let me close this place down. Oh, don't demolish it. I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, well. That's the way life goes sometimes. Uh, we will also put in another farm right here. And since there's not really a whole lot of space right there, I'm going to farm it on up. We're going to try and get on top of this real quick to make sure that we have the food that we need to go into the future because we are in a potential civilization wrecking situation here. Potentially, if we start losing civilians to this, it's going to get really ugly. I was hoping that orchard would work a lot faster than it ended up working, but I was wrong about that. There we go. So now we have some food to refill all the granaries and everything. It looks like they're down to like one harvest a year maybe seems to be how it works. It used to be that I think you could get multiple. Oh good, there's a dragon. Oh, that's never a good thing. So dragons come early. That's not much of a dragon though. He's more of like a drake. Is he for sure going to attack us? Or is he just going to do like dragony things? Hmm. Maybe I should put in like a well. Just in case. Let's have somebody build a well very rapidly before this dragon gets here. Dragon, why are you being a douche to me right now? Why are you being so mean? No! Is he just going to fly by? Or is he going to stop? Oh, shit, he's stopping. Oh, no. He knows we exist. That's not a good thing. Oh, he good. He's circling. Even better. Douchebag dragons. Did they make it so your castle shoots arrows yet? Oh, they didn't do that either. So you actually have to physically build defenses. Your castle doesn't have, like, any inherent militia strength. Well, maybe it'll go away after a little while. Or is he just, like, circling, making everybody grumpy? He just, like, left? I'm okay with that. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm perfectly fine with dragons that have weird commitment issues and decide that they don't want to raid and destroy my peasants. That's perfectly cool. I'm glad that we built all that because we're back on the up and up now with our peasants. So, that has inspired me to maybe make an archer tower, except that I need gold. Which means that I also need taxation. Which makes me think that I... Let me see here. That means that I need a treasure room, which means that I need 50 stone blocks, which means, once again, taking that logic to the next level, that I need to build my stone quarry back, which I accidentally busted. Luckily, we've got idle people sitting around, so instead of the idle hands resting at the genitals, how about you guys have your idle hands rest upon the stone over here so that we can build our society up and make it way better than the Persians next door? That's who we're competing with right now. The Persians are the Saracens, man. They're out there. They're waiting. They're out there, and they're waiting, and they have science, and they have, like, crazy magical powers and stuff. We don't have any of that. All we have is hay bales. We eat hay bales. We don't even eat real food. Look at that. They're hay bales. We eat hay bales. We eat like a horse eats. And that upsets me. Like, I really feel like the Saracens are doing it. They're over there getting it, and we're over here eating hay. And so that is our new goal, is we need to compete with them, and we need to do better than them. If we're not doing better than them, how can we live with ourselves? I'm going to put in a new house over there. I am going to let this kind of grow slowly. We'll take that off to the side that way. Uh, down on this side. Oh, cool. We're apparently... Uh, Craggy Blapper is now a small village. 
Good stuff. Hooray for us. Small village life killing it. Small village life getting it. Uh, people seem to be reasonably happy. We don't have to deal or joust with uh, disease or anything of that kind just yet. It's entirely possible that we can put in another stone quarry on this side once we get our next little batch of people that want to come live here. But in order to do that, we are going to need a few more hovels and houses. Hovels and houses sounds like the really like shitty, boring version of Dungeons & Dragons. We're like, how would you like to be an apartment complex manager? Hovels and houses, 4th edition. Like, ooh, this sounds pretty boring, actually. It doesn't sound like that much fun. We probably just sit in an office with local radio that's playing Genesis all day playing. Music from the 80s, 90s, and today. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Don't you have any, like, specialty stations? Nope. All our town has, we, it's, it's a small town, man. All we have is a country station and this station that plays songs from the 80s and the 90s, man. That's all that we have. You guys should definitely put out that fire. Pretty stoked that I put that well in. Some pretty massive foresight from your leader right there. I think you should all gift upon him diamonds, golds, rubies, and maybe even a little bit of diddling. You owe it to me. I built you a well. You owe me because I built you a well. A new granary would probably be nice, too. Wouldn't be the worst idea to get a granary around here somewhere. If I could bulldoze that right there. Go away. Get off my clicker. So if I could demolish you, because we're pulling in too much food right now anyways, uh, we could put a granary right there. And I think that would work out pretty well, because I'm going to put a few more farms down this way as well. A few more farms over here. Like I said, this entire area is going to be like the breadbasket of our little town, so that we always have enough food to get by. At the moment, they're just sitting there holding bales upon bales upon bales of the things that they have, and I don't know if that's... I don't know. Just replant the fields. I'm sure it'll be okay. Version, I thought that was 104 seconds until we get attacked. A fire is started, make sure to bring wells. Well, I did. I made the wells, and the wells are doing well, if I say so myself. Now that we've got some new citizens, I'm going to recommend that we do another quarry over here. So, yeah, looks good to me. Uh, later on, what I'll do is I might move this road over so that we can have another quarry right here, too. I like to have really good stone production when I play this game. If my stone production is, like, through the roof, uh, I usually feel better about my chances of getting things done. Our food storage has been increased, so we can hold 250 now. That's great. If you forgot what our objective is that we're actively working towards right now, uh, we're trying to get to the point where we have 50 stone blocks so that we can build our treasury and we can start to get gold, glorious gold. Oh, gold, why are you so awesome? Oh, gold, beautiful gold. I don't know why that turned into... I didn't plan on that turning into, like, Amazing Grace halfway through. Amazing gold, how gold your shine. It makes property more mine. You gotta, you gotta sing it like an old white man in church. That's the best way to get it done. You gotta sing it like an old white dude from like the 30s. Like back before they discovered you could be like and like do all kinds of like vocal stuff. Like back before they figured that out, they were like, wait, you could do something other than just hold a note and do vibrato? I'm like, yes, indeed you can. You can indeed, ancient singer. All right, so we got our 50 stone. That means that more than likely what we're gonna do right now is we are going to build a treasure room. Beautiful treasure room and the beautiful treasure room will go right there and it will hold our treasures and our treasures will be the greatest Especially better than the Saracens next door because like I said they've invented science and ever since they invented science They've been kind of uppity about it They also came up with this weird kind of arithmetic that has like X's and Y's and shit I don't know exactly how it works, but apparently it makes them better than us So we're trying to get on it, but we're working from behind the eight ball here. They had a head start we're, we started out from behind, you know what I mean? Giggity. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, what is happening on this channel anymore? Like, what is the thing that is taking place on this channel? I don't even know. It's just... It's just a mess. It's just a mess. I don't question it any longer. It's just... It is what it is. Fairly impressed. I think they've changed the lumberjack around. I feel like the lumberjack doesn't chop trees as... Like, I feel like he gets the same amount of wood, but he used to, like, chop the forest dry, and then when he was planting trees, it would take forever for it to catch up. And now it feels a lot more like he's just, like, getting her done. And so I'm happy about that. Four found a home, so I think that we have nine idle right now. Just nine idols. Just nine random gods that we've invented. 
I will probably begin. We have enough to start building our castle wall, in all fairness. It's doable right now. What I would suggest is that we maybe... Oof, that's going to be troublesome, though. we got to get it over to here and then around that way. What does each one cost us if we're going to start building our castles? So those are going to cost us 15 stone a pop. That's pretty bad, man. We're going to go ahead and we are going to destroy this road right here. And we're going to replace it with this road right here because our stone production is lackluster. It's not as good as we need it to be. Oh, really? You can only have two on there. Okay, he used to be able to crowd them on up. So I may have picked him properly. We only have the one stone quarry. When I started, I thought the black stone ones were the ones that were usable. So... Hmm. We need to come up with a solution to this problem. And that solution looks like it includes expanding way the hell over to this side. Had I known that was the way it was going to go, what I would have done is I would have built my castle over here. Yeah, I would have put my castle right here and then expanded out to this direction. Well... That's just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, my name is Flattercat. Thank you for stopping on in. Um, God. I I've been working on more impressions lately because I've been bored, and that's obviously what well-adjusted human beings do is emulate the voices of other people in their free time. Uh, anyways, thank you for stopping on in. This is Kingdoms of Castles. If you want to get the game for yourself, get it down below. If you want to see more episodes, let me know as well. I might rebuild this city on a higher difficulty because it's been 15 years and we haven't been attacked once. So that's a little odd. But either way, let me know what you think. I'll see y'all next time. I do. Uh, if you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is through the Patreon down below. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.